my phone, so sorry if it's terrible lighting or quality. Um, but I placed an order with Loops. It's like a skincare mask line um, from Emily Radajkowski. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but I got eye mask, eye mask and face mask. Try these out and see how much I like them. I don't know if you guys have tried them before or heard anything about them. So these are supposed to hydrate, brighten, reduce wrinkles and nourish. We'll see about that. And then these masks hydrate, brighten, reduce wrinkles and nourish. And these are supposed to be really good at staying on like your face. And then I got some chips and M&Ms, which I'm obsessed with. You guys, like this is the go-to. And then if you added popcorn in this, like it's just chef's kiss. So I'm going to try this on probably just a face mask and we'll take it from there. I did not want to have to get out of my bag to put this on, but it's like got serum stuff in it. So obviously... I'm not gonna do this on my bed and then risk like it falling on my sheets and like getting contaminated. Also, my hands are clean. Be aware where you could get like one of these face masks and it's dry and then once you put it on your skin, it's like activated and then gets wet um, instead of this way. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm so desperate for a manicure. It's like not even funny. This is like really slimy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I actually like the way that this feels on my skin. It feels very jelly, um, but it doesn't feel soaking wet, which is weird. Maybe all of the product is on the packaging. I have no idea. Wait, am I missing something? Clean and dry your skin. My face is clean and dry. Apply textured side on your face. Leave on for 10 minutes. Tap remaining serum into skin. What's two sides to it? Damn it. What the hell is a textured side? They both feel the same. This is stressing me out, honestly. They both feel the same. This is pissing me off because now I'm just like, am I doing it right? They both feel the same. And honestly, like, is there even product on here? Oh, you guys, why is this so hard? I feel like I have baloney on my face. If there's any men watching this, if you have a wife or a girlfriend that doesn't do skincare with you, run. Like get a divorce, walk away. Like she is not, she is not for you. Okay, this is definitely not centered, but it'll do. I don't even really, I don't have stuff on my hands. I don't know, I think I need to do research on this because there's literally, it's cool and it feels like jelly, the mask literally. Um, but you guys, this has definitely has product on it. Like you can see it, I don't know. What does this mean? I don't know. But it feels very cool on the skin. It feels very cool and <sighs> oh my god it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off erica are you like seriously like what's wrong with me this is like can i do anything right oh my gosh this is a little complicated this should be a picture on my dating profile oh lordy Oh no, but seriously, like if you don't, if you don't like me at my worst, like this, then you don't deserve me at my best. This is actually not that, this is not relaxing. But I just want to say 
thank you guys for the support like reposting on instagram i what are you a girl are you okay this is so scary thank you guys for reposting on instagram sharing with your friends your side pieces your pastor your eighth kid um I just really appreciate all of the support on so grateful so thank you guys so much um originally i planned on doing um i look like i have bologna or salami on my face this is like crazy um originally i was planning on doing a lot of vlogging today but last night was a little rough with crew he didn't sleep well so i didn't sleep well obviously um and then i just was exhausted and i felt so defeated this morning dealing with oliver and getting them like prepped and ready to go like all by myself it was just one of those moments where i just was like just not happy with my life and being angry at ricardo for leaving me i mean i say that as if he had a choice obviously he didn't um but it was a rough morning um and um so i just wasn't up for doing any vlogging but i did take some clips earlier when i was at target just like stocking up on things it was very much a uh, mom haul i can't oh my gosh i need a like i need proper training on this i think i'm gonna take this off because i can't I mean, it feels nice taking it off. I'm just putting it right there. Don't think that I just like threw it on my floor. Oh wait, so there is, okay, so I can feel like stuff on my face. Whatever, cool. Um, so yeah, I wasn't up for vlogging, but tomorrow I'm hoping to uh, run some errands, go to Crate and Barrel. To look at some stuff um i i don't even want to talk about it it's honestly first world problems but i ordered a couch a leather sectional actually beautiful um and it keeps getting like pushed back i was supposed to get it um end of december early january and then it said january february and now it's february march and like i can't but also, so I canceled that order, okay? But the couch that I have now is from the apartment that Ricardo and I like moved into right before he passed away. And I decided to keep it for the house because it's brand new furniture. So I'm not just gonna like throw it away or give it away and waste it. So I wanted to keep it, but it's just not really like the vibe that I'm going for. So eventually it'll move into the boys' playroom um and i ordered a different leather couch that's hopefully coming by early march um so i'm really just trying to get things moving down there but i'm gonna go to crate and barrel tomorrow and kind of see what they have um in store i look a disaster right now but i feel like a disaster right now to be honest with you um let's do this oh my god actually let's do this um this is just perfect so i feel like i'm giving justin bieber like donald trump vibes you know anyways you guys i'm going to relax i'm gonna watch euphoria which i'm a little nervous because i'm feeling eric gonna knock it off i'm feeling so anxious and euphoria is like really dark and like intense and i don't know if it's a good idea for me to watch it but i'm still gonna watch it anyways so i hope everyone's having a good night thank you for your support and we'll see what we get into tomorrow um i don't know about these loops masks we're gonna give them a try bought a seven day kit thing so i'm gonna look into them on instagram and see what people say the textured side literally both sides feel the same in summation of tonight what have we learned if you're a man and your girlfriend or your wife doesn't do skincare with you, leave her. That's toxic, it's disgusting, and it's pitiful. Like, 
she should want what's best for you. She should want you to look good because you're a representation of her. And if she's not doing skincare with you, bro, bye, deuces. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys, we're stepping out. We're gonna stop at Starbucks. We already know that it's, it's what we do. Um, I'm putting on my hand cream, Necessaire. Necessaire is so good. I'm definitely gonna do a vlog on Necessaire because they're so good. Don't look at my hands, they're disgusting. I'm so annoying because I was like, I really need to get a manicure, but like I'm so uncomfortable about getting a manicure right now because my nails like are not in the best shape. Like they're just stained from red, red nail polish that I painted on myself. But then it's like, you idiot. Like. The point of going to the nail salon is for them to like treat your nails and like make them look good. Like that's the whole point. So why wouldn't you want to go to do that? So I'm going to try to book an appointment for later this week. It is so cold, you guys. It's so cold. I think like it's a high of 20 today and a low of like 7 degrees. I'm not sure. But it's cold. I was in bed, I was like, you know what? Maybe I won't go to Crate and Barrel today. Maybe I'll save that for another time. And then I said to myself, you skank. Get your ass out of bed. Let's go. Move your ass. And when I say skank, I say it in like a loving way. I'm not talking down to myself, okay? So I got up, I showered, I put on another sweatsuit. These sweatsuits are the best. I'll do an, I'll show you guys later, but they're the best. They're just really comfortable. This coat is actually keeping me really warm. I was going to wear my Aritzia like puffer jacket, which is supposed to be like much warmer than this, but it just wasn't the vibe for today. Anyways, it's so cold. I'm proud of myself for getting up. We're up and at it. My car is warming up. Um, I really want a warm drink, but like hot chocolate at Starbucks is not where it's at. Don't at me because it's the truth. Anytime I'm out on about and I want a hot chocolate, I go to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, but I'm not going to Dunkin' Donuts. As I've previously stated and corrected, iced coffee is appropriate year round. Hot coffee is definitely seasonal. Okay, repeat after me. Iced coffee is good year round. Hot coffee is seasonal. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. You need to share my content. We gotta get the word out there. I want 100 subscribers. Obviously like more if possible by my birthday, okay? My birthday is just over a month away. Don't really care about it. Um, but like if you're feeling bad or you're just like, oh my God, I need to do something nice for someone today, create an account with YouTube and literally just subscribe. You don't even, if you don't want to watch my stuff, you don't have to. Do it, but you don't have to. But even if you're just making an account to subscribe, which I'm sure a few people have done because they're nice and they like me, um, what are we gonna try? Most shots of espresso. I can't talk. And then I think I just want like a chocolate chip cookie. I'm not really like up for a breakfast sandwich. Although I have to say, would I recommend a chocolate chip cookie with a caramel macchiato? No. I would pair it with a green tea lemonade. It's so good. But that's that. All right, our order. Our, uh, our, are you okay? Are you okay? Our order is ready. Alls is with my dad getting a haircut. I guess he was crying. It's weird because when he, well it's not weird because now he's older and he's maybe more aware. But um, his first like haircut, he didn't cry, not a single bit. And his barber, who's actually Ricardo's um, barber, was praising Oliver about how well he was doing um, and how he was so impressed, but now that's kind of changed because he's been crying um, his last two appointments, but that's okay. He's allowed to have feelings, and if he's not comfortable or he's scared, I mean, you're having this buzzing sound on your head and you don't even know what's going on, um, that has to be scary, right? 
Gonna do a little shushing, 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 shushing. Guys, I'm Jack. Cheers. My coworker is on the podcast answering all of your Spanish questions. You guys, I don't know how I feel about these product sunglasses. Like, I don't know if they're for me. Do I care though? No. Um, like I said, I feel like I've worn hotter in other sunglasses. But I got these at a time where I was like, I need something that says I'm a widow. And these were it. I'm actually gonna wear them. But I wanted them in black, and they only had it in freaking tortoise. Like, how does it look like this? Is it survive? I don't know. But and then they go nowhere. I prefer like timeless, classic pieces. Or whatever. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. And then we can go over to text. And we wound up having like a lot. All right, we're going to Crate and Barrel. My dad sent me a photo of Alls saying that he was crying way overdue for a haircut. That's my guy. He was way overdue for a haircut. Um, he was starting to look. Very like Will Ferrell vibes, and I love Will Ferrell. Also, um, last night I must have cried like I don't know three different times. Um, obviously over Ricardo, I was fine, and then I'd cry, and then I was fine, and then I'd cry, and I don't know. It's just the thought of like loving someone so much, and then being so unsure if you're ever gonna see them again. Obviously, if you believe in God, then you have to believe that you're gonna see your person again. Like, how do you believe in God and not believe in that? So, of course, you could say that my faith in God is shaken, but also, like, I'm an anxious person. Like, I like to know every single possibility and I don't like that you can't see my face. I like to know how certain things are and like I've never died before that I'm aware of. And so just to not be able to know for sure that I'm gonna see him again, that's what hurts. And that's what makes it so sad because if I knew that one day, like absolutely for sure, like I'm gonna see him again, it would make things a lot easier the opportunity to say the things that I didn't get to say but we're not crying today so wrap it up and then we reel it in and that's what it looks like when you choose not to grieve but I miss him so much for watching my last video I opened up about things and um, right now it feels like a safe space for me to open up about my feelings um, and dating and all these curiosities because I've never been in this place before and I don't know what to expect um, so for as long as it feels like a safe space for me to be open and honest um, I will continue to do so um, so I really am just so desperate to zhuzh up my living, my living room. Right now it's just not the vibe where I'm at. I had to replace my ruggable because it was dirty with a newer carpet that was supposed to go with the leather sectional that I ordered, but then that got pushed back again. So I ordered a new couch, which it'll look good in. It's supposed to come at the very latest, early March. Um, so I just want, and I ordered a, uh, I ordered a, a coffee table. Um, I have a marble one now, and I'm just so over marble. Like, bye. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna store it in my attic. Um, I'm depending on where this fucking car almost hit me. I could swap pieces out over the years depending on what I'm going for. I'll see if we can find any inspo, and hopefully not buy anything. Uh, I'm thirsty. I'm so rich, I'm using a straw. Alright guys, let's go.
so cold as I sip on my iced coffee. Okay, so unpopular, popular opinion, I don't know. Um, Crate and Barrel is like 100% like superior to West Elm. Um, I saw some options that I loved. Definitely wish I had a bigger living room so I could kind of just copy and paste some of the styles that I saw in Crate and Barrel. My mom came up with a really good idea to just kind of make like um, a mock-up using pictures that I took and of the couch that I'm getting um, and put it together to see if they could potentially look well. I'm not really into like matchy-matchy things. Um, so I'll probably start working on that later today. I went into West Elm and I was just so underwhelmed. First of all, no one even greeted me. Um, which like when you're in retail, it's just annoying when you walk into a store because like that's part of your job, whether you want to or not. And there's a part of me that's like, I get it. Like, I get it, trust me. But then it's like, hello, like, at least say hi. Do you think I want to spend money in a store where people are not nice to me, like, or acknowledge me or don't acknowledge me? Like, get real. I'm just like, when people follow me on Instagram, like, I just want to know, like, people that I don't know. Like, we don't have mutual friends in common. Like, how did you find me? And then why are you following me? Like, when a guy does it, what does it mean? Like, he likes my content? I don't know. But, oh, let's go. Oh, also, you guys, um, I lost my AirPods. Ricardo got them for me. I didn't lose them. They're just temporarily misplaced. So I was going to go on Apple and order myself some new ones. And then I saw that they had these out. And I was actually going to bring these with me while I was shopping. Um, but I didn't. But these are, hello, I can't hear, I can hear myself talk, but I can't hear anything else. These are so good. I was going to bring these with me while I was shopping in Crate and Barrel because I didn't want anyone to talk to me. And I get it, Erica, you don't want someone to talk to you, but then you're annoyed that nobody greeted you in West Elm. You can greet me like, like I'm not rude, but also like I just don't want people to talk to me. Um, but I didn't wear them. I just got self-conscious. Is it ridiculous if I wear these in my car? Cause like you don't know, I could be talking to someone. Am I talking louder? Like the noise cancellation is on. My dad, he's like a big like headphone snob, so he's very particular about his headphones. Ten out of ten, I would recommend. They're very comfortable, but like my ears will feel sweaty after a couple minutes. But the the sound is, I think, amazing. Um, my dad is an, a headphone snob. He doesn't like the AirPods, but he loves these. So if you're thinking about it, definitely go for it. They're so comfortable. Um, let's get going because I want to go home and see my babies and also show my dad the chairs that I picked out. So let's go. All right, quick fit check. I can't believe I'm saying fit. Um, sweatsuit, Mayfair group. So freaking, why did I just do this? I'm like showing you guys my crotch. So comfortable. I'm um, wearing my dusty Uggs. They're old, er, maybe like a couple years old, but they're like really dirty. They need to get cleaned. Anyways, I'm home. Um, my dad saw my previous video. Do you see the change in light? This is my favorite, one of my favorite rooms in the house. Maybe my second favorite. Um, my dad came and finally took the curtains down from the previous owner. I wanted to keep the blinds, but they're broken, so it just didn't make sense. But look, you it's just so beautiful, my Peloton. I kind of wish that I had my, what is it called? My treadmill down here, but I just felt like it wouldn't look cute coming into a house and then one of the first things you see is like workout stuff. And I'm, um, I think that Peloton has a service where they can come and like change the placement of the Peloton. So if I wanted to bring it down here, um, I definitely could. The house is a mess per usual. When is it not a mess? So I'm gonna do some tidying up. The boys' bathroom needs some cleaning. Kind of gross. Um, I want to do some reading today. We'll see kind of what I get into. Too. Also, I have a bad habit of like buying things for the house and leaving price tags on it. Like I got this, which I think is cute. 
and I keep forgetting to take the tags off. Also, I love this table. Anthropology, you guys. I'm obsessed. Um, Ruggable. Peacock is anthropology. Packages are urban. And parachute. This is Target. And I've got to take this price tag off. I actually look better in the dark. Right? Oh my god, I look so much better in the dark. But... I'm gonna put my AirPods on and start tidying up. Thanks for tagging along so far in my day, you guys. head upstairs today was a great day a productive day went to crate and barrel um did some tidying up but i'm not gonna show you what my living room looks like right now um i'm gonna head upstairs um get in bed put on my bed jet get nice and toasty and warm and comfortable i'm sure crew is gonna wake up um pretty soon I hope everyone is having a great day thank you so much for tagging along with me tomorrow i get to spend some quality time with alls oh there's crew all right i've got to go um we'll see what tomorrow brings but like i said i get to spend some quality time with oliver just he and i i'm really excited about that because i don't get to do that too often um but good night you guys i'll see you tomorrow I brought alls with me over to Merritt Station, which is an apartment um, that Ricardo and I lived in when we first moved in together, which was right after we were married. Um, he was watching something on his little iPad, but now it just died, so I'm probably not even going to be able to stay here long. Um, but I was thinking about this place today, and it actually, of course, makes me sad, but usually if I drive here, it doesn't make me um upset or sad but today i'm just thinking a lot about when we first got married and our honeymoon and then when we moved here we literally were moving in together for the first time and this place just brings up so many memories you know good memories some really bad tough memories um But it was just also such a very exciting time in our lives. We got married. We moved in here. Um, we were living here when I found out that Ricardo was going to be a firefighter. And I got to, you know, let him know that he was going to be a firefighter for the city of New Haven. We got pregnant here. Um, I'm just thinking about, like, his boots and, like... In the morning, washing the fucking dishes, even though I would tell him, like, I could do the dishes, you're being loud, like, banging the pots and pans and all these other things and just, like, fighting with him about it. And cuddles on the couch and him falling asleep on the couch and then this one scary time in the middle of the night and I literally thought he was gonna kill me. It was so freaking scary, I'll tell that story another time. But this place just brings up so many memories, but today it's... A little sad and it's weird to bring alls here like when we moved in here not for a second did I think that years from then I'd be coming in um, with 
the baby that was created here. It's so insane. And Alice is just looking at his iPad thinking it's going to turn on, but it's not. But he's such a good boy. Anyways, I'd like to stay here a little longer and share stories with you guys. But this iPad is dead and I feel like he might have a fit um, when he notices. Or maybe he won't. I don't know. But I don't want to risk it. So... Oh, guzzler check. Venti. I did a venti today. So good. Alright. Let's hit the road. Oh, thanks for being such a good boy, Papa. I love you. Uh. Oh, my God. Waffle. No. No. Here, hold it. So today's vlogging. This is cricket, isn't it? Ugh, I'm over this. Today's vlogging is just not happening. It's not happening. Nothing today is going as I would have liked. I'm just so drained, and I want to explode. I want to scream. I want to break things. I want to yell. And I just wish Ricardo was here because I would be getting some kind of break today. I would have someone to vent to. I would have someone that understands. Um, but he's not. It's just really hard. But nothing is going as planned. I'm just so drained. I'm just so exhausted. I think that parenting is hard. Um, but of course, understandably so, obviously being a single parent is even harder and to be a widow is even harder. Um, not that this is a competition, but I was married, I had a partner and I know, and I, I just, there's a lot that you, it's easy to take for granted. I'm going to start crying, so I'm just going to log off now i don't even know if i'm gonna end up vlogging the rest of my week because i'm just not up for this right now but i just wanted to share an honest moment where i'm struggling and yeah that's what life looks like for me right now The instructions for this chicken Caesar up aren't too many or too difficult because like I'm really not in the mood. I'm so hungry. Alright. There's a lot of Oh no, there's not much prep, which is good. Alright, so I have to grab the chicken and place it in the tray and then sprinkle spices and then I just scan it. So this is what it looks like, just like spices, I guess. We're gonna put that in. Then we take the card, scan. Perfect. Let's start. All right, my wrap is done cooking, or not my wrap, but the chicken. I put it together in a wrap. It's supposed to be a chicken Caesar wrap. So there's Caesar, spinach, 
um, pickled onions, which I don't even know what pickled red onions even means. Caesar dressing, if I didn't already say that, and spinach, if I didn't already say that. I'm just going to snack on this and then watch Vanderpump Rules. And then later I might do a haul of things that I've ordered online and have kind of just been sitting around. Um, so, yeah. recording a haul for you guys on my camera and like of course the battery died but that's my fault for not being responsible making sure that it's charged at all times anyways so we're just gonna go quickly through um some items that I purchased maybe like within the last two months but I haven't worn yet or anything literally um if my camera didn't die you would have saw in the previous video me kind of unwrapping everything um, but I got two flannels, oversized, of course, and I did tell myself that this year I'm going to dress, like, more for my size instead of doing everything oversized, but I can't help it. Oversized is just so comfortable, and I feel like it looks cooler, um, but especially with flannels, um, especially with flannels, I just feel like flannels always look so much better oversized. Um, this is one of two flannels. I got a US size 8, I think. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. But this definitely um, looks like a men's flannel, which I like. I like anything that's like masculine looking. It's my favorite. Um, like who doesn't like, you know, pulling something from like their man's closet and wearing it. It's just like something... It's a comfort thing, I think. And also it could be like super cool and stylish. I got this um, and then I also got this one. I love this color combo. This one isn't as thick um, or as soft as the other one. This one's definitely thicker and softer. This is soft, but not as cozy feeling. Um, I love the color combo and, oh wait, I got a size four, not an eight. <laughs> That's UK. There's a difference between UK and US, Erica, you idiot such a skank so I got a size four and they're oversized um this I treated myself I splurged for an early birthday gift and I'm just telling myself that it's from Ricardo because if he was here and he could have gotten these for me he definitely would have because I've been obsessed with them so I have my Gucci loafers which were a Mother's Day gift they're my favorite pair they'll always be number one in my heart very comfortable beautiful leather made in Italy um but I've been seeing these everywhere and like I just had to have them they're actually really comfortable um I haven't worn them out of the house yet sometimes I literally will just put this on like in the house as I'm watching TV, like just because I'm just not ready to take them out into the real world. But it's such a beautiful shoe and I just, ugh, look at that. It's just mm, chef's kiss. Um, I don't know when I'll actually wear it out of the house, but I will eventually. But this is definitely my second favorite pair of loafers. And again, I just, I needed a treat for my birthday, number one and if ricardo was here and he could have gotten these for me he definitely would have so it was a splurge and a investment well made um okay so taking a step away from clothing shoes apparel in a previous video, we talked about a rich mom scent and technically you don't have to be a mom or like even a woman to like smell rich. That's not, that's not the thing. It's just because I'm a mom and like I'm a rich mom. It's like a vibe, it's a mindset, okay? It has nothing to do with your bank account. It's a mindset, it's a vibe. Okay, anyways, we're moving on. There's a candle that my mom got me that my sister picked out and it smells like Santal. And it's the first time I've ever smelled Santal before and I am just obsessed, you guys. So I am going through all of these Santal candles like crazy because I love it so much. I literally light them all day long. 
Um, and I went online and I found this. Uh, this place, it's inspired by, and the scent is Santal 33. Um, it's a room and linen spray. This is only two ounces. I didn't want to commit to, I think, an eight ounce bottle because what if I didn't like the way that this company kind of put it together, but it smells amazing, you guys. It's like this woodsy, leathery kind of masculine smell. And again, I love masculine styles. I love a masculine scent. It's just like, it's so sexy and just so rich. And a little bit of this goes a long way. I did a couple of pumps yesterday, just assuming that this kind of wouldn't last in the air or on like my furniture. And it is actually pretty strong. I can still smell it. So this is a scent to watch out for. I got a different version of this, which I'll talk to you guys about next time. But this is by Inspired By, and this is Centel uh, 33. It's a room and linen spray. This is a two ounce size. Um, it's really, really good. What else? Um, I got this a while ago. This is by The Bar. I got this in the green, and then I also got it in a gray with white print. Actually really comfortable, a little bit oversized, super cozy. Um, I can like wear it outside of the house or really when I'm just lounging because I don't leave the house that much. Um, and I also have this package um, in like November or so and I still haven't opened it. So I'm just going to grab a knife and I don't even remember what I ordered. So let's see. All right, we are cutting this open. Oops. Yeah, I'm like not someone who should be doing this stuff. Not a professional opener of packages, despite the amount that I've received. Ooh, cutesy. Oh my gosh, this is what I ordered. I totally forgot. I saw this on this girl's Instagram. It's the owner of the company. It's a trucker hat and it says, I cry as hard as I work. It's a trucker hat. I don't like really wear green. I don't, but I just felt like this is like a good beach hat or just something to like throw on um, when I'm having a bad hair day. But I just thought it was really cute. I cry as hard as I work. Hopefully it'll adjust its shape. Oh, and then, oh, these are cute stickers. Oh, this is so, I've never been to LA, fun fact. Oh my God, I forgot, this is what I ordered. That's how you know you might have a problem. Oh, this is so cute. This sweatshirt, handwritten and hand-drawn things. Dreaming looks good on you. You can find beauty in anything. Definitely a positive message. Is this a one size? I don't know if this is like a one size only thing. I can't remember. It doesn't say the size on the tag. Um, this might be a one size only kind of thing. I don't know. But I remember seeing this on Instagram and I thought it was cute. All right, so that's all for today. I'm not trying anything on. I do have some things from Free People, but it's all upstairs and I'm just like not about to go up there. My favorite thing that I shared with you guys, oh my god, it's hard. If I had to choose between the Santal and the Prada, uh, I really love the Santal, but like the Pradas, like they just look even more beautiful in real life than they do like online or in store. Um, anyways, you guys, that's all for tonight. I'm going to do some skincare, but I'm not going to be vlogging. I'm just going to take advantage of this time to just relax and not really like think about anything or like use my brain, you know? Yesterday was a really rough day and uh, I think I'll go into that a little bit more at another time. Um, but to all of my fellow like parents out there, single parents, widows, especially widows. My heart, my thoughts are with you. It's tough, it can be tough, um, but those tough moments, those tough days are fleeting and you know, eventually comes a new day and you start over and hopefully it's better than the day before. And that's what life is. 
Um, I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you guys had a great week. I'm sorry if this vlog was less than stellar. It definitely didn't pan out as well as I had hoped. I had a lot of plans for this week. But next week is a new week and um, I've got some errands that I'm going to be running, some things that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that one. Take care, you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. Please share. My birthday is in February and I would love to get to 100 subscribers by my birthday. Like, obviously more than that by then, but at least 100 subscribers by my birthday. That would really be amazing. So if you haven't already, subscribe and share. Um, have a great night, guys. I will TTYL.